I mean, we, we are doing a, a, a big budget film. Uh, this is probably one of the biggest films being done in Sweden for many years. Also in Norway and probably in Denmark. So it, it is a big project and I can feel the pressure from everybody, especially for myself. So the approach of doing this without film light, uh, it's of course, um, you can feel it. First I heard that we, the name of the project and then I was thinking about uh, the previous films. I said, well, we can't make, nobody makes Godfather again. The Godfather is, is a, it's a perfect film, you don't make it again. And I said to myself, how can we approach this project in a way that makes it worth doing it again? So that uh, the film can be seen as a new project. I did a film with uh, a pop uh, some years ago called The King's Choice. And we wanted to have this film, uh, some of the same authentic feeling that we were trying to establish on this film. We knew that the film was going to be handheld. And handheld is kind of, it's, it's its own profession in a way, because to do a handheld on a feature film, you follow some rules, you go over shoulder, you do a two shot, and you know how to shoot a film. But if you say that we want it to look like a documentary, why not seek, why not try to find the best documentary cinematographer uh, to, to help us? So we found uh, Martin Ottebeck. Uh, he came and uh, he did a great job and we have done Four films, I think, together. This is our fifth, I think. We've done, yeah, at least many films together. And he is amazing. And, and he will operate this film. And I'll be behind the monitor with Eric. And I will not operate. But for this project, we are using uh, four cameras, actually. I have two cameras that, uh, that we will kind of mainly work with. One is a ARRI LF with the new signature primes from, from ARRI. They are modern lenses but with a kind of classic touch a workhorse classic workhorse uh, that that i think we need for this film because everything else will be so alive that i need to have at least one anchor that i know it's i can trust it's a very solid camera and a very solid lens and we're shooting in lf as a large format especially because we are shooting this film with some very wide lenses when you have a wider ship a you, you, you get the width, the width of the lens, but you don't feel it so wide in a way. On my previous film, I started to use a prototype of a camera called Lumix SH-1 from Panasonic. They gave me this to test it, and uh, I did some tests, and I get more and more involved in it. It does things that you can't do with other cameras, because it sees in, in the night more than your eyes can see. And we got a lot of help from Panasonic to beef this camera up to a professional camera to be used on this film. So we will have two of those cameras as well, to do shots at night, and it makes it possible to record in a level of light that you haven't seen on a feature film before. I mean, if we will have full moon while we are shooting, probably not, but if you had a full moon, you can actually go out and shoot with that camera. So it's an amazing camera, and it has the same size of ship as the LF. So that means we can swap lenses between those. And, and we have done tests and both cameras, and they look very similar. Uh, and, but this small camera, because of the, of the size, it gives us possibility to to move the camera very differently. And of course, in low light, and we know we'll have a lot of low light because there was not much light in that time. And we can't cheat that. When you are living in a house with, and you don't, you can't afford more than two candles. We can't have 10 candles because it looks nice. It will look expensive. The Lumix that we, we will use is housed like a, a still camera, but we needed to, to work as a professional film camera. That means the director needs video access wireless all the time because he or she is used to that. We need time code. We need wireless focus system so we ensure that everything is in focus where it should be in focus. We can't trust the other focus because a film is uh, a living thing where the focus is supposed to be where the story takes place, not where the mechanics think that the focus should be. All these tools need to be added to this small camera. 
So we made a rucksack with all these bits and pieces. So we have a cable back to the rucksack, but still the camera can be very lightweight. But we have a cable back and on the rucksack you have all these film tools that we need to, to keep the machine going, so to feed everybody, so everybody can be happy around you. Uh, because everybody wants to see on their monitors and you need dailies and you need to precision for, for editing and all these things. So all this is sorted out and, and suddenly we have an amazing tool that is so small uh, and have all these possibilities uh, that can do things for us that I don't think you have seen before.